Hundreds of high school kids from all over the state met in Madeira this weekend to show off their robotic skills. Natalie Vera was at the Madtown Throwdown today, and she has a behind-the-scenes look into the tournament. 25 robots and 17 teams are giving it their all at this year's Madtown Throwdown at Matilda Torres High School in Madeira. At the beginning of the round, it'll automatically go and score three balls into our goal, and then it'll run around picking up balls with the uh, with that plastic bit on the end. There's three robots on each alliance and they compete against each other. High school robotics teams from across the state spend around eight weeks building and perfecting one of these. So like right after school we go till about 10 30 at night just building and designing it. They build a lot of experience in manufacturing, a lot of engineering, a lot of business, uh, a lot of talking to people, uh, public speaking. Students say they're happy to have the annual tournament this year after it was canceled last fall due to COVID. I do like it because I get to actually talk to more people than I usually would. So this robot we built in 2020 um, and we never got to compete with it due to COVID. The challenges are different each year. It could be something like this where there's game elements that move on the field or there's you're, you're firing a projectile into and into a, a target or it could be stacking objects um, and or climbing over things. The event is also one of the biggest fundraisers for the Madeira Unified Robotics Program. And while the competition was scaled down this year to adhere to COVID precautions, organizers hope to welcome more high schools next year. Reporting in Madeira, Natalie Vera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.